I don't know about you, but I have been loving the collaboration between Simon Hurley, Ranger Inc., and Spellbinders, so that you have stamps and dies to cut those images out, as well as stencils and background stamps. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in this video I'll be sharing the latest Simon Hurley release with Ranger Inc. and collaborating with Spellbinders for the dies. This is both a gorgeous and fun release, and I wanna show you a little bit of everything today. So we're just going to flip through the new products, and then I'll share how I use them in some cards after that. In today's video, I'm also going to share five different ways to use the brand new Simon Hurley Solar Paste along with this new release. First up in the new release, this is the Treescapes Cling Mounted Rubber Stamps. You can see there are four stamps in this set. They are that cling mounted rubber, so you get a really great impression. There are three different treescapes and an image that can be either a sun or a moon, depending if you're doing a sunset or a moonscape. This is the Splatter Cling Rubber background stamp. This is an entire six by six background stamp and you'll see that the ink is going to be on that swirly image. It creates a really fun background. This is the sketched citrus peel apart rubber background stamp. So the peel apart background stamps are so much fun because you can use them as the entire image. It's another six by six cling mounted rubber stamp or they have little images within the larger image that can pop out. And you have here a couple of the citrus that can be popped out, a couple of flowers that can be popped out, and a set of leaves that can be popped out. So that is a really fun way to create a background stamp. Also peel apart is the Sound Waves peel apart rubber background stamp. So these can be used again, all of them together in one image, or you can break them apart and you can see that there's like four lines in one, two lines in another, a single line in one, and five lines in one. And of course you can use them side to side or vertical up and down. This is the Sun Rays layering stencil. This is a set of two different stencils that each will create a different sun ray background. This is the Pretty Petals Layering Stencil. This is a three stencil set. One stencil does the flowers, one does the leaves, and one does the flower centers. This is the Smooth Sailing Stencil and Mask set. So you can see that there are several images, a lighthouse and two different boats, and you can use the masks to cover up parts of the image so that you don't get ink where you don't want it or any other medium that you're using. That stencil goes along perfectly with the Smooth Sailing stamps. So the first stamp set in this release, or one of the stamp sets in this release is this Smooth Sailing stamp set. You can see that you could use the stencil to color in either the lighthouse or the sails of the boats or the mast of the boats as well. And so that's just giving you another option for coloring those images in. This is the Hot Diggity Dog Stamps. Super, super cute. Lots of fun, different dogs and sentiments. This is the Watercolor Flower Stamps a beautiful set of watercolor flowers and some stunning sentiments. They combine both script and straight fonts, and there's several different images that you can compile together, or there's a large image at the bottom that you can use as one. Now, with the collaboration with Spellbinders, you now can get coordinating dies with all of the Simon Hurley for Ranger stamp sets. So there are all the dies for the Hot Diggity Dog stamp set. They're also for the watercolor, flowers, the smooth sailing, and they even have a set for the images that pop out of that citrus background. For this first card, I'm going to tape an A2 piece of white cardstock to the back of the Pretty Petals stencil. And then I'll use the Simon Hurley Roar ink pad to lightly ink the flowers. So I'm not going for a very heavy look here. I wanted it very light, almost like the example that's on the back of the stencil. I love the kind of coral or orange with blue leaves. One way to use solar paste is to layer it with a stencil over an inked background. So we inked that flower and leaves, and now I'm using the Cross My Heart Solar Paste 
over those orange flowers as the flower centers. Just be careful when you peel that stencil back, but check it out. Because it's a white paste, but it has that iridescence and slight color, it really accents those inked stenciled flowers perfectly. I have a couple of the stamps from the watercolor flower set and I stamped them with the same inks I used in the background, but much darker and fuller and opaque. Of course, I'll use the coordinating dies to cut those images out so that I can pop them up. I'm using a score tool here and you can apply some of the solar paste with a score tool to create small dots or little bits of dimensional and luminescent accents to your stamped images. So I will apply just little dots along the flower and along the leaves. You can even use that score tool to swipe the color to add more to your leaves. I grabbed one of the sentiment stamps from the watercolor flowers, stamped it, and then die cut it out. So nice to have the dies to be able to, like I mentioned, pop up both the sentiments and the images. So you can see I have small foam squares from Spellbinders behind the thank you sentiment as well as behind the flower and on one part of the leaf so I could tuck the rest of that leaf behind the flower. So you can see those little accents of solar paste are subtle but absolutely beautiful. For this next card, I grab that splatter background stamp and I'll use two different colors of ink. First I have clear skies, which is a lighter blue and I really got a good impression stamping that a few times, but then I wanted to add a little bit of a darker color as well. So I added that in. So a third way to use solar paste is to apply it over a stamped background. So we did over a stenciled ink background. Now we have this stamped background and I use a dome foam blender to apply the solar paste evenly along the entire background. You can still see the ink color, but you can also see a light hint of color from the solar paste as well as that beautiful iridescent look. Next, I'll use the Simon Hurley Shady Ink Pad to stamp one of the sailboats from the Smooth Sailing stamp set on some yellow cardstock. And I'll use the masks of the sails so that when I apply ink to the base of the boat, it won't go on the sails. That ink won't travel to the sails and we will have clear sails for the rest of this card. So once that's done, I can use the other part, which is the mast between the sails, and I use some cookie dough ink for that. Once those are all set, another way to use solar paste is to apply it over colorful cardstock with a stencil. So I am using the Golden Hour Solar Paste over yellow cardstock. So same type of hue, and you can see it just adds a little bit of white, a little bit of iridescence, and that hint of that golden color. I used a different sentiment from the Smooth Sailing stamp set and cut that out as well. And once that solar paste was fully dry, I die cut the sailboat as well. And you can see how dreamy those sails look with that solar paste over the colorful cardstock. A really easy technique and just adds tons of shine without bombarding you with a whole new color. For this card, I wanted to try one color of solar paste on top of a different color of cardstock. So I have Royal Flesh, which is that purpley type of solar paste over a dark blue cardstock. And I love the outcome of that. You can see both colors mixing and combining. I use a sentiment from the Smooth Sailing stamp set, as well as the little stamp that has waves. And I stamp and heat emboss those with white embossing powder on that original blue cardstock before I added the Royal Flush. For the Royal Flush, I die cut out the two pieces, the shell and the starfish, and then used the detail dies right on top. And they die cut and emboss beautifully. So solar paste is just like lunar paste. You can die cut it, you can emboss it. There's so many ways to use it. It's just a different look because it's that white base instead of the dark color base, but it adds such a subtle, beautiful effect on all kinds of different cardstocks, inks, and everything else that you use in your card making. 
I'll have more videos using this latest release coming up soon, so be sure to subscribe so you're the first to know when they come out. As always, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. This is a fun summer... <laughs> fun summary... <laughs> summary... <laughs> when they come out. That's better than available. <laughs>